Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Cynthia Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your spirit guide messages. Uh, I also do your weekly for your general messages, uh, Taurus, as well as your you versus them reading. I'll upload a link to both of those over here for you to check out at a later point. But be sure to rely on your intuition when it comes to these types of readings, Taurus. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. Take the cards that resonate, read what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Taurus, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know how they uh, are resonant to you and just how they're relevant in your life overall, because that's how I keep up with you all through the comments. And if you do enjoy this reading, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe, Taurus, because it does help out, help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Taurus, this is just something for you to consider, something for you to have some food for thought over. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. So let's get into the spirit guide messages now. So for this type of reading, Taurus, I don't really have one specific direction that I want to go other than just relaying some spirit guide messages, right? So we're going to start with the general energies of things, and then we're going to go into what I feel like what is coming to you? What is like a heads up that you should be prepared for, right? I feel like a lot of people are always scared of receiving um, a bad reading or bad news in a reading when I like to see it as being prepared or being able to have like the blueprint of how to handle a situation to like avoid it or even how to maneuver through that situation. So uh, yeah, let's just get into this reading now, Taurus. I pulled two animal cards for you. We have number four, the Badger Spirit. So write that down for numerology, Taurus. This card says be, uh, be fearless and bold. And then you have this next animal card, which is the falcon card asking you to act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without, without question. I'm not going to try to pronounce that word. <laughs> so... Both of these card stores are asking you to kind of just break out. When you think about it, both of these cards share a, kind of like a similar message in this way. So it makes sense just right off the bat as to why I felt inclined to do this reading, uh, Taurus, just because it's like, for some of you Tauruses, y'all have been in this headspace of debating on doing something. You've been tossing around in your brain and being like, oh, should I do this or shouldn't I? There's like some type of hesitation. And dare I say, Taurus, for a lot of you guys, this has been this hesitation for quite a while now. Maybe you'll make a few steps forward and then you'll pause for like another few weeks and you just don't do more forward action and, um, for whatever your reason is. It could be just because you're in your head. Um, it could be for a multitude of reasons, right? But with these two cards coming in right off the bat, coming in really strongly for you, Taurus, it leads me to believe that there is some push from your spirit guides of asking you to really, like, go forward with something. Stop, um, stop waiting. The time is now is something that I'm hearing. So let's start pulling some tarot cards now to see, get a little bit more clarification on, um, what is going on with this, right? What is it that you need to stop, uh, waiting it out on? Let's get some more detail. We pulled four tarot cards for you, Taurus. Uh, we have the Justice card coming in here. We have the Five of Discs. We have the Five of Wands. <laughs> and we have the Six of Cups. Oh, honey. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So, with this, this is a lot to unpack here. There's almost this sense of, um, especially with the Necronomicon, Taurus, which is, that's the deck that I'm using for this. I'm getting this sense of bringing things back into balance in regards to some type of it seems to be honing in on some type of social situation in your life it sh shows to me there's outside party members that is like what probably is like impeding on you continuing going forward maybe you've dealt with some conflict right and that's what's put a stop to you continuing pursuing whatever it is that you're doing right because the five of wands talks about like that conflict um competing goals with other people um and then you look at the five of discs as well and it's just like with this five of discs this five of discs is someone that feels left out in the cold this someone this is someone that feels probably abandoned Taurus. you probably feel abandoned by somebody in some type of capacity and that's probably put a damper in 
what it is that you're trying to create. That's probably put a damper in what it is you're trying to just really do um, with your life, right? And so it's like, because you're putting all this energy into here, maybe someone abandoned you that you were trying to do like a project with Taurus. And it was after that, that it's just like, it's kind of like put a stop in everything. It's just like, well, you're not sure if you want to do this by yourself. You're not sure if you can handle doing this by yourself, right? There is some type of doubt here, right? With the Six of Cups energy in this deck, like, it, there is, like, a level of codependency here. Now, Taurus, and, you know, I'm, I have no problem stepping on some toes, right? Especially when it's relaying messages from your spirit guides. But there is probably, like, this sense of codependency of where you feel as if, um... You feel as if that you wouldn't be able to do something on your own, that you wouldn't be capable of it, that you're used to perhaps of other people playing, filling some type of role in your life that you haven't had to fill for yourself, right? Or maybe you have in the past, but you just don't, like, now that you had it at one point, um, you don't want to go back in that way. Um, but the Justice card does come in bringing all this into balance here. So, you know, when it comes to the Spirit Guide saying that they're going to bring things into balance, it's just kind of like, mm, I don't know what that means, right? You got, it kind of like, how this is kind of foreshadowing Taurus is like, um, it's almost like, especially with these uh, animal cards, it's like, they're asking you to focus on your goals. Again, focus on what it is that you're trying to accomplish, Taurus, and don't worry about this mess. Don't worry about the drama. Well, I guess you don't want to not worry about the justice, but um, <laughs> you don't worry about this drama here, Taurus, because this is what's distracting you. And it almost seems like if you continue focusing on your goals, what it is that you're trying to accomplish, whether that's related to your career, or love, so on and so forth, right? Um, spirit's going to take care of this. Like, I feel like they'll remove the barriers, the blockages, the people that are in your life that are impeding in your life. So it's kind of just like this sense of trying to get you to separate yourself from that energy that's weighing you down, right? And to really like bring things back into balance rather than it being like this. Does that make sense to us? So interesting messages right off the bat we're coming in really strongly aren't we Taurus so um let's see how do we want to continue this let's let's um let's get yeah I still want to see what is coming towards you Taurus like what is it what is it what should Taurus look out for in the coming weeks what is it that Taurus should be paying attention to and keep their eyes and ears open for him cards are flying out <sighs> All right, so I pulled three cards for you, Taurus. Let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, or not Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So, interesting, interesting dynamic. So, what I'm getting from this is the sense of you feeling trapped, Taurus. You're feeling trapped in this some type of situation, or at the very least, you're feeling stuck. You don't know what to do in some type of situation. Five of Cups, it's like, there is like this sense that you want to move on from something, but you don't, like, you may, for some of you, you may not feel like it's possible. For some of you guys, you're just in this state of just like, sitting in this mess. <laughs> I don't want to say what I want to say. I want to say, it's like you're sitting in your own shit. <laughs> and like not sure how to escape that right because you don't enjoy it right you're hanging your head low but here's the thing but like even <laughs> spirits trying to point out to you these two cups that are not spilt right they're trying to shift you into a different direction shift you into looking somewhere else where you can um really start progressing again this is really like spirit trying to be like hey take matters into your own hands now right where they're trying to like push you through the door but it's just like they need you to even acknowledge in the first place that there is a door uh Taurus there has to be this level of where you no longer resist the change is something that I'm getting right I'm getting a lot of like just overall resistance in trying to uh transition uh, tra transition um make this transition essentially right because i do feel like for a lot of you tourists you guys are going through a heavy trans trans transformation and transition my goodness i cannot speak right now Taurus. um and it feels like some of you guys are being resistant to that resistant towards it because you might be taking it as like a negative sign rather than a sign from spirit trying to help you out so pull the, the magician card coming in the knight of discs and then the seven of discs 
long-term plans, you know, going out into uncharted territory, raising out into your out of your comfort zone to create essentially, right? Seven of this comes in where it's just like, okay, Taurus, like you have you have a bigger picture. You think that you know what it is that you want to do with your life. Um, that's fine. Let's start putting planting those seeds. Let's start actually actively putting energy into these things that you want to create rather than putting that energy into that five of wands, that stuff that we were talking about before, Taurus, right? You have the Knight of Disc coming in for you as well. And I always say when this card comes in, it's like, this is like the sense of you going out there, going out of your comfort zone, leaving your comfort zone, going out into uncharted territory and just really exploring the world. And it's through you exploring the world that you really start um, finding comfort. You start being a lot more prosperous because, excuse me, I say this because it is under your clarification of your Ace of Pentacles, Taurus. And so there does seem to be, again, like this forward affirmation um, of just moving forward with something, moving on with this, just overall, just this constant message of just transitioning, let it go so you can continue creating. The magician card comes in. The magician comes in as where it's that sense of um, master of your own reality, right? You are actively creating. And I just don't see you getting into that headspace until you finally just shift your view a little bit. Until you start, instead of looking at the cups that were spilt uh, to us, you start looking at the cups that are right behind you, right? You may not know that the cups are behind you, but that just involves you taking a look around rather than um, being so focused on that five of wands that we were talking about. So we're going to be pulling some last clarifiers for this, Taurus. We have the High Priest, a lot of major arcana for you. The High Priest discarded the Lover's card and the Three of Wands. So the Lover's card does definitely come in where it's talking about, like one, it's talking about a big decision, but it also lets me know that it's just not an easy choice for you, right? Which I guess we could kind of assume just because this hard transition, you're having a hard time making this transition because it shows that you just care a lot about this situation, right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being in tune with your emotions, essentially. Um, the High Priestess card comes in with the Three of Wands, where it's just like, you kind of know where your next step is, Taurus. You kind of, this is almost like, you know the inevitable, you know what the end result's going to be. Well, yeah, you can kind of be hopeful for a different point of, like, different outcome. To me, I'm getting this as a sense that you kind of know, like, what your next plan is. You don't need to figure that out. It's just more so, like, allowing things to happen rather than continuing fighting with it, essentially. So really good row really good reading on this side of things taurus now before i close this reading out i do want to get some let's just pull some cards in terms of what blessings can we expect for taurus in the coming future right what blessings can we expect for miss or mr taurus right let's see <clears throat> let's see blessings that do come for sure Back of the deck energy, ace of wands. Again, I always say when I see a bunch of aces in a reading, there's like that forward affirmation of doing something, Taurus. And so when you have another ace coming in like this, ace of wands, wands represent fire. Well, uh, they also represent that forward energy. So, you know, Taurus, it's like <laughs> throughout this entire message, it's just like once you go forward with something, that's when you get your star moment right that's when you get your wish fulfillment which is what this card literally means is that wish fulfillment um you're able to but you don't get this wish fulfillment unless you release things right because the star also talks about releasing um releasing emotions that's why she's pouring the cup out right she's really he taking this time to heal and you have the page of wands with the three of pentacles as well Taurus where it's just like this new fiery beginning is associated with some type of contract right and so it's interesting Taurus I find this interesting because it's just like it just seems to be because one thing I want to point out is like especially with that lover's card the lover's card talks about a big decision the three of pentacles talks about contracts and just higher commitment in the sense of just big decisions as well um, so there's definitely some choices that are going to be presented to you in the future. Some big opportunities that I'm getting because it's just like, especially with that page of wands, right? This talks about like a new passionate beginning. All those wands cards keep following you. Not really that many cups.
last card actually so not really too much that matters of the emotions um like it's one of those cheesy things of like life opens up when you do all right it's such a cheesy saying but this does definitely seem to be where it's just like when you finally just stop resisting when you finally start going with the flow of the universe and going with the direction of that spirit's trying to take you in um you're really going to like the results of it that's really when doors start opening up for you that's really when opportunities start presenting themselves to you and then at that point then it's just up for you to walk through that door as i was saying before so let's pull some final clarification let's pull some three card three cards rather for this all right all right taurus ace of coins right <laughs> you've had this follow you already in this reading so this is the second time that it's come in but this is the third ace for you on your star card right this is like the ace of coins is kind of like saying it's just like you get your harvest right and that's that wish fulfillment uh, the king of wands is right under the page of wands so it is this is just you this is you taurus this is you finally like with this new beginning, this is something that you really, that's just really sparks your interest in like, it's almost like once you finally get busy with doing this Taurus, then everything that you were dealing with in the past that you're resisting on letting go, like some of the wands, this is a thing of the past for you, right? You won't, you're done with it. Like it's like, you're almost going to look back in the past, like a month or two from now and be like, why was I ever concerned about this in the first place? Right? So yeah, Taurus, that's the reading that I have for you for your spirit guide messages. I hope this reading was of res resonance in some type of way. If it was, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time, Taurus, I love you so much.